I never really knew what I wanted to do um, as a career when I was younger. Um, I knew I was good at science, I knew I was good at physics in particular, but I wasn't really sure where that was going to take me. Now that I'm in my first job after my PhD, um, I've started to think about where I want to go with my physics. I was always interested in um, science and, and trying out things, testing things. I remember when I was quite small, um, we often had campfires uh, in the garden uh, in summer nights and um, uh, I actually built little containers uh, for um, little wooden stick figures and uh, put these in the fire and uh, tried to design the containers in a way that the little stick figures survived. And I did, I did succeed once. Well, the reason I become to be a scientist is because I feel really passionate about what I've been doing on this scientific discovery. I quite enjoy the feeling that I saw some problem and then I find out a way eventually to resolve it. The scientific process is a rigorous formulaic way of making sure that what you do is unbiased and without opinion. Because science itself is evidence-based and what you're trying to do is you're trying to understand the world around you from a set of observations that you shouldn't have an influence on. When I was at school uh, doing my levels, I got very interested in the weather. I would look up at clouds and I would wonder why they were there, why they were, they were shaped they were, why they had flat bottoms and puffy tops, for example, and why it rained when in some places and not in others, and why the wind blew. Those sorts of things were very interesting to me and I didn't understand how they worked. I knew they were to do with physics somehow and to do with chemistry, um, but I wanted to find out more. So I didn't plan to be a scientist as such, I just wanted to understand how things worked. So I went to university to learn more about how these things worked and that led me into a career in science. I had a teacher when I was uh, at school and he was really keen on being interested in science and sort of you know taking a real interest and not just sort of sticking with what you have to do in the classroom but sort of reading around it a little bit more and of course if you're doing that you can learn about whatever you want you know no one's telling you what you've got to learn if you're doing it in your own time so by being interested in it I found that that you know sort of really drove on my enthusiasm um, so that certainly sort of helped me you know, choose my career path if you like. I always knew from a young age that I wanted to do something that would contribute to the world, contribute to, to us as a society, but I never quite knew where my place was for that and I went a few various um, options in terms of professional careers that I could go down to, to, to that end. But actually being a scientist, being a researcher, coming up with tomorrow's technology today uh, is what I do as a, a researcher and that's my way of contributing to the world. Um, and actually, when you think about it, science is not only about what you discover today and leaving it today. You leave science for history. It becomes something that will last a lot longer than I ever will. The most important thing yet to be discovered is life on another planet. And while I still think we're a long way away from discovering life on a different planet, I don't think it's going to be too long in the future before some scientist is going to be the first person to discover life outside of Earth. I think the best thing about my job is uh, that I can actually build stuff. I can, I can see things uh, taking shape from the drawing board and then actually take those things, mostly, mostly robots, out to the field and, and try them out. And it's really uh, rewarding to to see it from a drawing becoming an actual item and then seeing that item function, completing a, a test or, or a scientific uh, target. Generally getting out of bed is still quite hard and Sunday nights still not brilliant. But generally by the time I'm sort of in my car, I've driven to work, I'm, you know, I'm looking forward to the day ahead and that makes things quite nice really. You know, I, I certainly you know, wouldn't have it any other way because it means you know, I'm not dreading going to work, I'm interested in it, I'm excited by it. And that means that you know I don't dread Mondays necessarily, um, and that I think is quite an important sort of thing to try and strive for as well. 